do it at any time. Yes. And if that is the case, you see, in project management, you get certain something here called earliest possible time. time. And you also get what is called latest possible time. time. Remember, what did I say a successful project is? A successful project is one which is finished on time, within budget, and of the right quality. So time is of critical importance here, okay. which means when we start our activities or our deliverables, they must always start at the earliest possible time so that our project can also finish at, at the right time. Now, let's assume that there is activity A or deliverable A which is not dependent. It doesn't depend mm -hmm. on anything for it to start. And it's going to take two weeks. Okay. We should start it at the earliest possible time, which is what? Which is zero here. Zero. Okay. So we draw a bar that is uh, two weeks, like this. You see, this is two weeks. Okay, to two weeks. Okay. And we label this activity A taking two weeks. Okay. okay. Then we have activity B also, mm -hmm. which does not depend on any activity for it to start and takes three weeks. Yes. And remember, a Gantt chart is a bar graph. Okay. And then we come here, we draw three weeks like that. Can you see? Three weeks. Does not depend on any... So it starts here. That's the earliest possible time. Okay. So you call this activity B taking... Three weeks. Three weeks. Then you have it... Now it gets a bit, inter a bit interesting. Now activity C now mm -hmm. is a kind of activity which cannot start until A is finished. Okay. And takes three weeks. What do you think you do there? Where do you start? Activity, again, come again for the activity C... Mm -hmm. It has to depend on activity A to finish, mm -hmm. and it also takes three weeks. How do you draw it, you think? It depends on activities A, A to start. Yeah. Uh, the line will start in the number two weeks. Number two, good. And you take how many weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks like that. Can you see there's a dependence here now? Yes. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so you call this activity C, C. depending on A, mm -hmm. taking three weeks. Yes. Then you have activity D, mm -hmm. yes. which cannot start until B is finished yes. and takes three weeks again. You start from uh, B ending. B ending, right? Yes. And makes it three, weeks. three weeks. Can you make it four weeks, please? Four weeks, four weeks, okay? Okay. Let's make it four weeks. We call this activity D, D, depending on B, B, taking four, four weeks. weeks. And then have activity E, mm -hmm. which cannot start until C is finished yes. and takes Four weeks. Okay. So we start here, right? Yes. Four weeks. So we draw the four weeks there. We call this activity E, mm -hmm. depending on C, mm -hmm. taking four, four weeks. weeks. Then we have activity F, the last one, yes. which depends on D to finish and takes one week. Okay, we start from yeah, so the end of D. Right? One week. One week. So we call this activity F. F depending on, on D, D huh? week. on D, yes, taking, taking one, week. one week. This is a Gantt chart. Okay. And up to this point, I don't okay. understand why people have a problem with this thing. It's just as simple as this. Simple. If you want to know where people fail in project management, it is on this Gantt chart. Wow. <laughs> and how you mm. struggle with this, I just don't get it. But anyway, this is it. So this is, this is the Gantt chart. Maybe because you really explained in quite detail. Yeah. Guiding, give those examples. Because one thing that many people do fail mathematics and graph like this mm -hmm. is lack of examples. Proper examples. Okay. So you have now, proper examples. So thank you. Now, say, if somebody were to ask you, yes, uh, what do you think this thing uh, can be used for? This gun chart. How useful is it? If you were to be given this yes. to say, this is a gun chart for your project. How useful could it be? Uh, the usefulness of this will be for me to be able to use that. That, for example, activities of A mm -hmm. that will be able to in, in making planning for the uh, that activities. I'll be able to take consideration mm -hmm. that what will, what will be the second movement after that has ended. Where am I heading to? So, where do you help me to allocate resources 
Very good. Effectively. That is that is the best point. That's 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 the main use of a gun chat. It helps you remember what management is. Yes. Planning, organizing, controlling, control, coordinating, controlling and, and directing. Yes. But there's organizing. The organizing talks about allocation of resources. And uh, the reason why it helps you to allocate resources is this. You see, in, in, in project management, you get something called critical path analysis. Okay? okay. The, the, if you see anywhere it's written CPA, okay, they are talking about critical path analysis here. Okay. What it means is, in a Gantt chart, there are some activities here or some deliverables here between A, B, C, D, E, and F, yes. okay, that are more critical than others. And critical in, 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 in the CPA approach means a critical activity is an activity which must not be delayed. Okay. Because if it is delayed, will it will delay the whole project by that amount of time. Okay. Remember here we have how many days? It's nine weeks times nine seven weeks. days. That's uh, 56 days. 56, yes. There are activities here that must not be delayed even by a single day. Okay. Remember this project ends here. Ninth week. Ninth week. But there are some activities here that if you delay them okay. by even a single day, they will take this whole project from nine weeks to nine weeks one day. Which activities do you think are those? If you just look at this thing. Which ones? Or which one? Which activity here should not be delayed even by a single day because if you delayed by that one day, it will delay the whole project by that day. Remember this project ends here. Week nine. Which activities must not be delayed here? I would say activities D. D. Okay, what's your reason for D? The reason because uh, activities D. Okay, when well, let me come again. One, two, three. A and B. <laughs> <laughs> a and B. <laughs> I tried to check. Okay. You know, I, I was at the University of Johannesburg yesterday and I was pretty much teaching the same thing. And someone gave me an answer like that. And I said to him. Okay. Oh, the activity is activity C. Activity C? Yes. Why C? Because the activity C must start on the second week of that activities of B. So if we delay activities of B in one day, uh -huh. it will affect that activity from progressing. It will affect C. It will affect C. No, but, but C is not dependent on B. There's no link between B and C. Oh. All right. Here's how we work the critical path analysis. Yes. You always look at the last activity. Okay. Like in this case, the last activity is what? Is E, not this one. It's this one. That's, okay. it. That's the one at the end. Oh, ends of the week. You know, E, is, you. <laughs> e is critical. You know why? Yes. Because if you delay it even by an hour or a single day, it will delay the whole project. Then you look at what does E depend on? Because whatever E depends on, if it is pushed, it will also push E. C. C is critical. Why? Because look what happens if you delay C. Let's say, isn't this C supposed to finish here? Yes. Let's say you delay it and you finish it here. What will it do to E? It will move to the Start here, middle of the week. And it will finish? The middle of the week of the year. It means we are? We can be happy. We are late. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. What else? What does C depend on? A. And A. So A is also critical. Yes. yes. Why? Because look, if you move A by one day, mm -hmm. it will move what? Into the one day. This one. By one day, right? Yes. Which will move what? By one day to a late. It means the whole project is late. Okay. So uh, A and C and, and e, e are critical. Okay, how come B is not critical? Now, let, let's just do a, a study here. Look, okay. what happens if you move D, B by just a single day? Check. You move B to here, it will move what? Okay. If we delay B by one day, if we delay by a day, it will, it will delay who else? Which, which one else? B. By a day, right? Yes. Which will delay what? It will delay uh, F. By what? One day. It means we are still inside a week time. So they're not critical. <laughs> now I want to explain your point that, that, that you gave me to say one of the uses of the of the gun is mm -hmm. to organize, which means it, it is to allocate resources. Yes. You know how? Can you see that A and B 
is an example. These two are in the first two weeks happening at the same time. Yes. There are overlaps here. B and C in this week, mm -hmm. they are happening at the same time. Yes. There are overlaps here in, in these activities or these deliverables. Mm -hmm. But A is critical, B is yes. not critical. Not. Now, let us say that you've got five people working on this activity, you've got other five people working on this activity, and you realize that you are lagging behind on A, which is more critical than B. You, what do you do? You pull more people. You know what you're doing? You're allocating what? Resources. Which resources? Human resources. Human resources to A. Why? So that A can finish on time. It would be stupid for someone to take people from there to put them there. It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be. Why? So then this helps you to, to, to allocate resources that way. So it's called the critical path analysis. So you take items on your, on your work breakdown structure and then you put them here. And then you start constructing your, your activities. So maybe you may ask me, where did you get these terms? We were just saying A takes three weeks, B, where did you get that? Of course, you were estimating. Okay. Okay? You use calculated estimations. Yes. You don't just estimate you know, by thumb sucking. Okay. You estimate by using a certain formula, which I will show you at a later stage. But okay. for now, this is a gun shot. Do you have any question?